Hey guys, I'm Slave to the Games. We're going to go over my Streamlabs OBS settings for a dual PC stream setup. And I'm using a 2070 Super, and the rest of it is what I'm using for the desktop, which I'm using as my dedicated stream PC, is going to be in the description below, so you'll see the parts that I'm using. And we're going to go over how my dual PC setup is being run through Streamlabs OBS and my settings for it. And this is something that I suggest that if you do have a uh, dual PC setup, and you're using Streamlabs OBS, you should put all the settings like I have them here and I'm about to show you. Test the stream, see if everything works out perfectly. If it doesn't, then you're going to need to turn some things down. So here we go. And it also depends if you're streaming to YouTube, Twitch, Mixer, Facebook, or if you're streaming to all of them through Restream. And I'll get to that when I go to the bitrate. But first, we're going to start advanced, and you're going to want process priority at high. You're going to want the UV color space at 601 or 709, I believe the other option is. Yep. Uh, it, that part's up to you, but make sure you have the UV color range on partial because partial, it just looks better. The darker is better. The colors are better. The shadows are better. The, the darkness that is added in the partial makes it just feel better. It makes it look better. And in those tense, dark areas, it's going to make it look dark. Whereas if you have it on full or expanded on the Elgato capture card, it's going to look washed out. All colors are going to look washed out. The entire screen is going to look washed out. Very little about using full or expanded actually makes the game look better. Yes, it makes it easier for the people watching to see in dark areas, but you could just do that by turning up the brightness. And even then, it's not worth making the game look like crap or look washed out just because of that. Now we're going to move over to video. Pretty basic stuff here, just set everything here. The only thing you got to worry about is if you are using an output scaled resolution, which is say you want to stream in 1920 by 1080, but you want people to watch in 1280 by 720, you could do that. See, you could just set it up there and then people see it in 720. I don't know why you do that, but if you want to, you can. Now, here's a big thing I use bilinear for like the longest time ever, and then people were like, oh, but blah blah blah, 32 samples of Lansos is best. The reason why I use bilinear is because I wasn't downscaling or scaling at all. So it says it's the fastest. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm not doing it since it's the fastest, it's just better. But honestly, I switched to Lansos, the 32 samples, and then I switched back. And I have noticed no difference at all in quality between the two. So feel free to use whichever one of those two you want, or three. You can use Bicubic if you want. So just choose whichever you want, see if you notice any difference, and then, you know, move on from there. Now we're going to go to output. We're going to go over streaming and recording. Remember, guys, this is dual PC setup. So I use hardware NVENC new because I have a 2070 Super. So you're going to use a bitrate of 6000. Obviously, this can go higher. For me, I use 6000 because I use Restream to stream to Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, and Facebook at the same time, as well as DLive. Basically, when you are using Restream, and only if you're using Restream, you have to think about what is the lowest max bitrate that each of the platforms you have is. Twitch's is 6K, Mixer's is 10K, YouTube's is 15K, though you can go higher in YouTube if you want, and I think you could still go higher in Mixer if you want, but this is at the cost of, well, causing your stream to stutter or causing your thing to be shut down in case of Twitch. If you go higher than 6K, your stream will be cut. So I have to do 6K bitrate because I'm restreaming to multiple, including Twitch. Have the keyframe set to two, max quality for preset, high for profile, and then don't check anything else. Just leave everything else here as is. Now move over to recording. We're basically going to do the same thing. NVENC new or, and this can help, you can either do NVENC new, so assuming that you're using what I'm using, or you could just do use the stream encoder. And it uses the exact same encoder. I mean, you're still clicking it, and it's probably, I'd say it's probably better to click use stream encoder if you're just going to be clicking, oh, I'm going to use NVENC new here too because you're still using NVENC new if you use the stream encoder and you have to change nothing else. But let's just say you don't do that and you want to do exactly what you should have done before. Here's the thing. When you use stream encoder, it's just going to use the every single thing. So all these settings, the exact same is going to be copied over your recording and you can do that, but you don't want to. And I'll explain why. Basically, when you do this, you don't get to change any other setting. So go to hardware NVENC new. And then you're going to change the bitrate to 28,000. Keyframe to 2. Quality to max quality, high, and then leave everything as is. Now, why do I have it at 28,000? That's because it's not using megabytes 
from say you have a 35 megabyte upload speed it's not using 28 megabytes from that you're just using your actual hardware for the gpu so start at 28,000 and go up a little bit each time find out where your recording starts skipping starts lagging but push it as high as you possibly can because it will give you the best quality you can get it'll be amazing it'll look great it'll be near lossless if not almost exactly lossless you just got to keep on going 28,000 is kind of my sweet spot i found my uh issues pro cropping up around 30,000 31,000 so i pushed a little bit down until i saw no problems at all and it really looks good i like it a lot and this allows me to stream and record at the exact same time while still being under 15 percent uh cpu usage even below that just streaming alone i think my max was like 7.9 so i didn't even get that high on it i think that's all we're going to be going over right now let's see just gonna quickly check everything <clears throat> oh actually yeah there is something i want to mention sorry for clearing my throat guys basically if you're going to be using animated like screens or panels or camera overlays that is going to add to right here uh, let's let's add all of this down here just click all that you can see this is what is being used right now this is not accurate for what my streaming uh pc is using because this is actually on the game uh gaming laptop i'm using so basically you can see exactly how much cpu is being used your fps that you have it set on and then the bytes that you're using so 6,000 is 6 megabytes, so this is kilobytes, 1,000. Basically, what you want it to be at, like I said, is 6. It's going to show like 6,128. It still goes 128 over, and the reason why is because... Where are we? Audio. I think this is an audio, yeah. Uh, video, stream, audio, output. Audio, here we go. It's also adding this, the 160 uh bit rate for your audio you got to keep that in mind the audio bit rate stacks with the output so essentially since i'm doing 6000 bit rate it's 6126 that was 26 right yeah so you'll have to pay attention to that make sure that you know that you are going over the limit a little bit but twitch hasn't done it had any problem with that it's only 160 over so it's not a huge issue at all now what i'm going to say next here is just set everything else up after this to your own specifications the hotkeys the notifications which side you want the chat window on all that's up to you all that's completely your own thing but please just listen to what i said when it came to these settings set it up exactly as that and then stream test a stream test a recording then test streaming and recording and then go from there if you have any questions at all about anything feel free to comment below and ask about it this is my first time doing something freestyle like this um i've had to repeat it a couple times because a i'm nervous i haven't done anything like this before and two i didn't really go into full in-depth explanation what every single thing was and i kind of wanted to avoid that because while i have spent a ton of time researching and trying to get the best settings and everything i, I don't want to pretend like i do know everything i don't want to pretend like i know every single setting and exactly what it all means if that is something you guys do want to know if you want me to make a video explaining exactly what something is exactly how it impacts something i can take that into consideration if you leave a comment below about what exactly that is and i'll think about that but i've been asked a lot i uh, what are my settings what do i do and my friends told me that i should make one so here, here it is hopefully you guys actually got something from this or it really worked if it did work please let me know like comment below like hey it helped out hey it worked hey or just hey thanks for trying to do the same thing that thousands and millions of other people have already tried doing hopefully though you actually do get something from mine and actually improves your guys' streams i hope you enjoy don't forget to leave a like subscribe and i'd say follow but i'm not streaming right now and i really hope you enjoyed it i'll catch you guys later thanks for watching um yeah peace